Hey, what's up guys? Today I have with me the new Suzuki S Cross 2022 version and in this video I will make the full review interior exterior you will find out everything about this new S Cross until the end of this video. If you're new on my channel don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to see also the test drive video and also the newest car that will come on my channel. Before we go forward I want to tell you that I'm right here at Emil Frey in Bern. I will leave the link in the description if you want to check them out if you want to test drive the car if you are around Switzerland and in Switzerland check them out guys I want to give you the technical data and then we will go outside and I will explain you everything around the car then we we'll go inside the car I will talk about material quality about the space I will show you everything every single detail now guys let's start with the most important thing and that's the price the price the starting price of the car of this model we have the S cross 1.4 liter this is the the top version it's a hybrid a mild hybrid version with all wheel drive we have the top end version right here and also it comes with automatic transmission i will explain you in a second everything about it and this this version that i have it with me right here uh it start at 35,990 francs in switzerland this is the starting price if you add some extra optional for example this car right here it has the metallic color optional 790 francs and then the final price will be around 36,780 francs because this is a demo car uh, they come with a 2,000 francs discount so the final price will be 34,780 francs this is the final price of the car here at Emil Frey in Bern it's a good price for Switzerland guys I know most of you tell me oh why you say it's a good price because here in Switzerland the price are much bigger than in other country so if here the car costs 34,000 you can expect in your country to be 5,000 less or something like that and for a cross SUV I think uh, this is a quite quite good price I will explain you also all the options of the car I don't need to explain you right here on the paper but I want to give you some technical data before we start so as I said before the car come with a 1.4 liter petrol engine four cylinders in line power of the car 129 horsepower 235 newton meters it's an all-wheel drive as I said before and also it comes with a six-speed automatic transmission you can get the car also with a manual transmission or you can get it with a front wheel drive system the consumption of the car combined consumption VLTP 6.1 liters also the range of the car VLTP 890 kilometer with a fuel tank capacity of 50 liters not bad the CO2 emission 139 grams top speed of the car 195 km per hour and 0 to 109.5 second pretty good also the ground clearance of the car is very important 17.5 centimeters the car come with ventilated brake this on the front brake this on the rear normally the standard car if you buy it it comes with 17 inch rims but on this model today I have 16 inch rims because they have to change the winter tire they have to install the winter tires and they take out also the rims and they install with a smaller rim so we have 16 inch tires on the car also you can check out in the test drive video there I'll talk a little bit about them and also about the suspensions the turning radius of the car 10.8 meters also very important the boot space the capacity of the trunk 430 liters and if you fold down the seats completely you will have 1230 liters the front suspension we have independent mcpherson coil spring with anti-roll bar the rear suspension we have semi-independent coil spring guys those are the most important technical data i think i cover everything now let's start the review we go outside and then inside in the end we will make the conclusion so yeah let's do it all right guys here we are outside with the key this is the key small key like a finger very light very simple nothing to do with this key the only thing that you can do with the key it's lock and unlock the car here you can lock it here you can unlock it's super super simple also you can lock the car by pressing this button right here and also unlock it let me show you the same way it's lock press this button unlock it very simple very smart nothing fancy nothing crazy this is what you can do with the key now let's make a tour around the car and let's talk a little bit about the design of the car 
the back of the car look quite nice, more modern. Now they use much more LED lights and you can see the normal tail light and also the brake light, it's LED. But the turning signals and the fog lamp down there, it's still normal halogen light. Yeah, we will talk about that a little bit later, but overall the design of the car, it's still classic in Suzuki style, uh, if you ask me. It's nothing special or crazy on the side and on the back of the car. If you go in the front of the car, here you can see that the car look a little bit more special. I like very much the way they designed these new uh, lights here, the headlamps. Also the grille, it's a little bit bigger uh, and nicer. The front of the car, I should say that I like the front of the car, I like the lines. Uh, and overall, it's kind of the same size, it's a little bit bigger than uh, Suzuki Vitara and it's a little bit more spacious in the interior, we will see that as well when we go there. But overall, it's a, a normal, practical, affordable car with a normal design, nothing crazy, nothing special, it's just the way it is and the price is also very good for what this car offers and also the, the engine is also very good and reliable. Up here on the roof we have a glass roof, I will show you, you can also open it up, super nice. Then we have roof rails in chrome, I like that, very useful. The radio antenna it's up there and also if I'm not wrong I have the antenna here, so it's the old style guys, you have to install it. But other than that it's super simple. Now, we have this roof spoiler here that looks super nice. I like the way they design it and also I think it helps aerodynamic with the shape of it. It's quite nice, quite sporty. The brake lights, LED lights, then you have a wiper, uh, you have the window, the first thing window in the back. Also, here on the side we have tinted windows, tinted windows in the back. Look quite nice with this color of the car. It fits pretty well. On the uh, driver's side you have also the tank, here is the, the fuel tank and you have to open it up also from here you have a button here you pull this up and then you open this so you cannot open it uh, just simple like that also this one here it feels quite simple and quite normal nothing fancy as i said here in the back these new LED lights, the brake lights are LED, you can see it on the upper side and also the normal tail lights uh, are also there and they look quite nice. If you go a little bit closer, you can see they have an interesting design in the interior there. The turning signals are normal, the reverse light is normal halogen light, so nothing crazy, nothing fancy there. I like very much the chrome design insertion here, it, it fits nice, the Suzuki logo. Down here we have a reverse camera and we have LED lights on the number plate. That's another plus and a good thing uh, that in my opinion it's great. We have Suzuki writing here and we have the S-Cross hybrid all grip. So you know it's the top of the top. Uh, you can see it right there. Now going down we have four parking sensors on the rear, some light reflector on the bumper also very helpful. You have uh, this plastic here that comes outside a little so if you hit something in the back you don't worry too much because this plastic even if you hit something it will come back in the summer at least is more flexible. So yeah quite quite practical. Down here is the fog lamp, normal halogen light, the exhaust pipe on the right side you can see there. Other than that quite quite simple simple design here in the back it's a practical car guys so what can we expect with a good price affordable price this car it's kind of in my opinion in my view they compete with Dacia for example yeah because they kind of in the same price range so from there we have to compare it if you want to make a comparison then we have this window integrated here then we have some plastic mat here plastic glossy some chrome design on the down part uh, of the windows here. You can see we have chrome on the roof rails and chrome down there around the windows. Also if we go down a little bit here on the mirror the same color, I like that the leg is in the same color as the car, LED light, turning signals, 360 degrees camera, this is a new feature that car come with and also it comes with a lot of safety features we will talk a little bit later uh, you can see here the camera on the mirrors as well and also we have a, a front camera so I will show you also this system the handles you see it before the quality of the doors yeah they are how they are this is the quality I feel like Suzuki Vitara have much better quality I don't know why but I feel like this. Then I like very much the fact that they add this plastic here, this protection plastic. It protects 
the, the paint of the car, you don't have to paint the car, repaint it and stuff like that. If you scratch it, you just change the plastic. Also, I like the fact that when you open the door, you open it with this plastic. So yeah, super, super practical. On the down part, the same story, same plastic here to protect the down part of the car. And then in the front, we have the same story, same plastic here around the wheels to protect the car. Super practical. They add a lot of sensors. And surprisingly, on this Suzuki S-Cross, we have more technology than we have on Vitara safety features. We have camera, we have sensors there. The car can read the traffic speed limit, lane assist, emergency brake, adaptive cruise control, all that safety features, it comes on this uh, S-Cross. So that's super cool. The front of the car, it looks like another car. It's aggressive, it's nice, it's splendid. I don't know, I like the front of the car. Now the hood, really huge and bright. And also we have some round shapes here uh, on the side. Then we go down, we have LED lights. The daylights, it's LED, the, the high beam, the low beam LED lights, quite, quite nice. If we go down a little bit, you can see that the turning signals, again, halogen light. The fog lamp, again, halogen light. Four parking sensors in the front as well. And then the bumper down here look quite nice. Also the same plastic here. We have kind of a gray matte plastic on the down part. It's quite nice. The bumper, the front part, it looks good. Here is the radar for adaptive cruise control, emergency brake and all that safety features that work with those camera on the windshield. Then some air intakes here. You can see the radiator there. And then we have some air intakes here on the grill as well. So to cool down the engine and the parts there. Now the grill look wonderful. I love the grill, the glossy plastic, the way they design it, uh, the chrome design, the Suzuki logo, the front camera. Here's the front camera for 360 degrees camera. And they, they are nice. The grill, it's, it's, it's splendid. Now guys, this is the exterior. Uh, the only thing that I didn't show you is the uh, wheels here. We have 16 inch wheels, a lot of rubber. That means in the test drive, you will see uh, we will talk a little bit about suspension. Probably we will have some extra comfort over the bumps. 15 inch rims, if I'm not wrong. No, 16 inch rims, but normally it should come with 17 inch rims, standard, but those are because they change the winter tires. They put, they install these 16 inch rims. They install a smaller one. Also the rims look okay, but if you look from the distance to the car, look at this. They are kind of too small for the size of the car. In my opinion, they look smaller. I will, I will definitely get a bigger one. They will make the car look much better. Anyway, we have normal brake this on the rear here. You can see, so the brake calipers. In the front, we have ventilated brake discs, powerful uh, brake discs. And overall, this is it, guys. This is the exterior design. I think you already make an idea. I don't think I miss something or I jump uh, any features of the car. Let's go inside. Let me show you also the engine bay. Then we will go inside. I will show you also the space in the trunk. All right, guys, let me show you the engine bay. Here in the middle, you have a small button. You pull it and then you have a manual lift gate, kind of heavy, uh, I should say. Also, I like the fact that you have some protection here, insulation from the noise. And here is the engine. This is the booster jet engine, 1.4 liter uh, petrol, four cylinders in line. It's combined with a mild hybrid system. So we have an extra small battery and also an extra small motor that helps the engine. 12 volt batteries here, fuse box is there on the right side. Some liquid, liquid is here for the wipers and that liquid for the cooling there. So overall, yeah, this is it guys. Anyway, let's go in the trunk. Oh, I was expecting to have automatic lift gate. Oh, I review so many cars with automatic lift gate in the last time and I forget that are some cars without automatic lift gate. Anyway, you have a manual lift gate. Here is the handle. Pretty simple, the array up here. Nothing fancy, nothing crazy. But surprisingly, the entrance in the car, it's huge, huge, huge entrance. You have also this protection for the trunk. I will take it out uh, in a second. But before I take it out, I want you to look a little bit inside the cabin uh, to see uh, here in the trunk, the way it looks 
and you can see down here we have some plastic at the entrance and this floor here let me show you you can adjust it the way you want it in this moment you have here like 10 centimeter deepness i don't know if you can see it yes 10 centimeter deepness but if you take this out guys you can put it even higher let me show you just like that and you have a flat floor look at this you have a completely flat floor it's incredible practical this car and i said uh, to you that it's a little bit more spacious than vitara now down here you have another space look at this maybe 15 centimeters and under this you have another space where you can put i think even a spare tire if you want that hard you can fit in here but you have a repair kit and all that stuff in this model so how cool is that in terms of trunk it's super spacious then you have also some extra storage space in the left side extra storage space in the right side a normal bulb light here on the right side then you have a 12 volt port hooks here you have also a hook here for the grocery now yeah quite nice quite nice let me take out this protection and then we will fold down also the seats great now I just take out that protection you can see it one more time the way it looks here in the trunk relatively big spacious uh, perfect for me from my point of view uh, it's incredible practical for the size of the car and for how big is this trunk um, it's super super useful super useful I love it the uh, only first downside that I see it right now is the fact that you cannot fold the middle part down for skis and stuff like that if you want to fold it down you will have to do it just like that it's very simple to do it it's a nice button that works super super simple and then you fold it down and look at this guys you have almost almost I cannot say it's a flat floor but it's a almost a flat floor practical where you can fit in a lot of things without any problem you can make an idea uh, one more time also from the distance from down here super practical and also we will talk about that lovely glass roof that looks just fantastic with the car really love the glass roof a lot of light come inside the car overall uh, very spacious very practical with the seats folding down and very big uh, entrance in the car so yeah this is it guys this is it now let's go inside let me show you here if you open this door yeah pretty big entrance in the door from the side big big entrance without any problem you can come in here this is the seat belt i know i know guys don't tell me uh, more if you can put it on the side if this disturb you you can put it like that and you will not have any problem with it you know it will stay kind of on the side but usually this will stay like this because it's the seat belt for the middle seat anyway let me put it on the side let me show you the space the way it looks this is the space here you can check out the space relatively big 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 space and also you have some storage space on the down part here on the legs room you have huge storage space also the transmission tunnel it's not that big relatively good not bad not bad not bad at all in terms of space anyway let me put everything back guys then uh, we will see the space in the interior of the car all right guys now here on the door we have a big window made from one piece and then we have a smaller window that it's fixed here you probably wonder how much you can fold down the windows and surprisingly you can fold it down completely this is awesome not many cars can do that and also i can see that this system works really good now in terms of design of the door in my opinion it's very nice it has a nice design here in the back uh, pretty simple pretty nice pretty clean design and also if you touch it on the upper side you will see you have plastic everywhere here on the upper side then here in this area even though kind of you have a gray color it's also a kind of a plastic but it's much more I don't know much more softer I can feel it but it's in gray color then we have leather here on the armrest the same color as this area here then you have the handles uh, pretty nice handles it feels quite good quality then you have here some kind of a gray plastic glossy matte I don't know how to call it it looks nice and then you have cup holders for your bottle of drink and then you have also a speaker down there so yeah overall this is the door the entrance in the car going inside here 
You can see one more time that beautiful glass roof. It looks lovely. And this is the space in the back. It's super spacious, guys. I tell you, the car, it's incredible spacious. Um, I will go inside and I will show you the space, but it's super, super spacious. Now, let's talk a little bit about the seats. The seats has very good quality. Uh, they are made by leather. So even the headrest, you can adjust it. You can see the stitches. It's leather, leather on the side here. Very good quality as you touch it. I was really impressed about the quality of the seats. Here in the middle, we have a strange kind of a plastic recyclable material, very strong and very resistant to, to many things, even to drinks or liquids or stuff like that. They are, they are super, super reliable and, and good quality as you touch them. Also the seats, you can also put it a little bit straight or you can put it a little bit backward, but just a little bit, maybe one centimeter, stuff like that. Isofix for child, you can install two child seats without any problem. You have even this seat belt for third passenger in the middle. Here you have an armrest with two cup holders. Surprisingly, they installed it there. I like that. And another thing that I like is the fact that they make this floor on the rear kind of flat here. So even free people can stay here without any problem. And you can see we have leather here in the middle. Now behind the front seats, we have leather everywhere. Some storage space here. Uh, in the middle, we don't have anything. So nothing here, guys. No USB, no vents, nothing. And the transmission tunnel, it's quite small. Good, let me go inside. All right, let me close the door. Here we are behind the passenger door and uh, passenger seat and there is my driving position and here it's a little bit backward as I think you can see it in the video and this is the space in the back. I'm 173 centimeters if you ask and I have plenty of space. I can also stretch my legs under the front seat without any problem there. So that's great. Headspace, guys, I have like three fingers maybe yeah three fingers over my head but i can go a little bit forward and i will have much more space on my head and also much more space on my leg anyway the visibility outside it's very good i like it it's really really big big windows you have another window there in the back so the visibility is not bad and also you have some soft material here soft material on the side leather great 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 position here i should say i stay really good on the back here Handles, hooks, lights, everything is here. I have all I need here. Also the roof quality, it's somehow at the first level, I should say, not in the middle, not on top. First level, entry level there, I should say. Now let me go in the middle, going in the middle because you don't have a transmission tunnel, it's very easy. And here the space, maybe a little bit more space than in the, in the side, surprisingly, and also on the legs. You have enough space here, so no problem in terms of space. Also, I can stretch my hands almost, I should say, almost completely, almost. But you can have three people here without any problem because you have a flat floor here. And actually, surprisingly, I feel really comfortable in the middle. I don't feel like the back is so stiff. It's a little bit stiffer indeed. But down part, the down part, it's quite nice, quite nice. I can stay here without any problem. And also, I have a nice view because of this glass roof, you have a great view. We will go in the front and I will show you also the multimedia, all that things there. But I tell you, the design of the dash, it's quite nice. It's modern, it's nice, it's clean. Uh, it looks quite, quite beautiful. Really, look at, look at it, look at it from this angle. It looks quite, quite nice. Anyway, let's go in the front. Great, now here in the front guys, big window. So that means great visibility on the side. We will see also when we go inside. Also, as you can see there on the mirror, you can see the blind spot technology in the corners. Great visibility in the mirrors because the mirrors are big. You have blind spot technology and also you have heated um, mirror, side mirrors. Now, going to the design, the same design as in the back here in the front on the doors. Also the same plastic on the upper side. Down here, we have the same, same material. Actually, we don't have the same material. I think this is leather, yes. Here in the front on this area, we have leather, yeah, let me go back. It's not the same? Yes, it's the same, guys. Here in the back is not plastic. Here it's kind of a leather. It's a little bit stronger. It's, it's kind of a leather over the plastic and it feels more soft. And here it's softer. Yes, I understand now. 
in the front the same story but here it's a little bit more softer all this area it's with leather kind of a gray leather then we have leather but it's much more softer in this oh nice not bad not bad good idea handle buttons for the windows uh, lock and unlock the car lock the windows here you have electric folding mirrors you can see you can fold the mirrors electrically and also you have uh, adjustment electric adjustments now here you have much more space in the door bands where you can put your stuff not enough but much more than on the rear then you have a speaker down here quite nice and then the entrance in the car relatively big in the front as well big 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 entrance down here you don't have anything it's just the plastic normal pedals you can see the s cross the carpet are nice special for this car also uh, you can check out the seats from this angle i don't know if you can see them so well i can go on the side yes the same quality as on the rear very good quality on the seats we have manual adjustment on the seat so you have to adjust it manually but the seats quality are awesome also the headrest are in trend with 2022 because they are softer and nicer and good quality also you have leather here side support you can see the side support side support down here and down and also here you have the same material as on the rear so yeah overall great seats i like very much those seats uh the design of the seats it's it's really really good now here guys you have some storage space where you can put your keys or wherever you want to put there then you have the button parking sensors uh, this is the light then you have the start stop engine traction control you have all that safety feature lane assist and adaptive cruise control and emergency brake you can activate it and deactivate it from those buttons then you have a vent here quite nice uh, yeah, it feels relatively fine. Also nice integrated here. We have soft material. You can see here It's soft material from here up begin nice and soft material, but up here We don't have soft we have plastic everywhere on the dash and also plastic on this area down here So only the middle part here. We have some kind of a soft material. You can see also on the dash I will show you in a second now. Let's go inside go inside the car visibility around the windows very good also on the mirrors great visibility in terms of visibility we have a big windshield so the visibility it's perfect more than perfect i should say one of the best visibility without any doubt also in the back you can see here we have an armrest you can adjust this armrest you can also open it up you have a 12 volt port there so a lot of storage space here to put your stuff handbrake we have manual handbrake i wish it was although uh, an electronic handbrake but it's okay i guess it's fine but in combination with this automatic transmission it was much better if here you can save more space and add somehow an electronic handbrake but yeah that's okay going forward here we have some storage space where you can leave your things and also you can use it for cup holders for example for a drink and stuff like that and also you can leave your key then here guys let me start the engine let me start the engine let me show you here you have the possibility to change the driving mode so you have the snow mode you have the sport mode and if you press it you have auto mode and then you have also the lock you can lock it if you want to so if you go forward and look on the screen every time you change those things you can see it also up there snow mode you have sport mode and then you have auto mode so yeah that's something to keep in mind going forward although all this place here uh, the middle center console is made by plastic uh, also we have some kind of a chrome matte gray design here on the side we have this stalk to change the different position of the uh, transmission so for example you can go in drive right now we are in drive but if you go even downer you go in manual that means you can change the gears manually how you change them from here you have those pedals here on the left on the right side and you can change the gears manually and also you can see an m1 down there but also you can put it in drive and you have automatic you can go in reverse and if you go in reverse you will have this new 360 degrees camera that i will show you later also you have the lanes there active lanes so it will help you to park the car very easily super nice system now let me go back to park and let's go forward here we have heated seats so for you and the passenger and then you have a 
USB port right here so you can close it and open it up like this and a, some kind of space there where you can put your phone or wherever you want to put in the front there and we have also of course the climatic system and we have dual climatic system so if you press dual you can choose separately um, the vents the fan speed and stuff like that and also we have physical button that's much more easier to adjust the temperature and different things and the vent speed and stuff like that it's super super easy I like that really really cool also you can turn it off from here great going a little bit up here you can see we have the blinker button and then we have this view button probably wondering from what is this once you press it you can see it comes with this new 360 degree system that also Toyota have it probably they share it they take it from Toyota it's a great system it shows you around the car what happened around the car and this is this is a really really safety feature also you can see from the interior here what is around the car and then you can press it from the exterior so interesting system I, I have to say that I like it I like it you can check out the surroundings of the car pretty simple just by that then I like very much these vents in the middle they feel much much better quality than the ones on the side I don't know why but they feel quite good and also chrome design around here I love it this glossy plastic insertion very nice very nice this part here look gorgeous then you have the start engine stop right here behind the steering wheel you have the multimedia system integrated very nice right there in the dash because you have a great great visibility from here i mean i love the visibility it's very easy to reach the only thing that i don't like is the fact that they somehow adjust it just like that straight like this it's not adjusted to the driver i mean it has to tilt it a little bit that the driver can see it much better and not kind of the passenger this is something that i didn't understand a little bit um, you can see it pretty clear but it's not tilted to the driver it's somehow tilted more to the passenger somehow yeah i don't understand that i don't know if you can see it on the camera anyway as i said before this area here it's all soft material and nice you can see also stitches you can see some little holes here very nice design very nice integration now look at the glow box glow box it's big not big it's huge it's huge 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 glow box i like that i really like the glow box and also if i'm not wrong you have a light there a normal yellow light up there quite nice the glow box it's super nice you have speakers up there in the corner speaker up here speaker here quite quite nice also you can adjust the steering wheel guys from down here down up forward backward in every position you want keep in mind that you can adjust it other than that the cockpit it's quite classic um, nothing fancy nothing crazy on the cockpit you can see the speed the rpm some information about lane assist cruise control speed uh, range and stuff like that so also the temperature you can see there but other than that nothing crazy the steering wheel it's nice we have leather steering wheel right here simple uh, you have a good grip the quality it's good also i like these buttons down here how you press it down here just like that those are the buttons for the uh, voice command telephone then here we have the lane assist you press it just like that you activate the lane assist and deactivate it then here you have some buttons for the volume and for the media and here you have the buttons for the cruise control and adaptive cruise control and all that safety features that you can see it on the test drive video anyway let's go up here now the mirror and the visibility in the mirror it's just perfect in terms of visibility in this car it's lovely i mean you have big mirror great visibility in the back you have also here a place for your glasses not all the car offer that these days you have light here two lights also normal bulb light is not led light then you have also the possibility to turn it on you have the sos button and then you have this possibility check this out you have the button and you have the possibility to open this glass roof look at this look at this i mean it's crazy this is one of the most impressive thing in this new uh, suzuki s cross look at this even even much more expensive car didn't open the glass roof that much it's crazy i don't know from what angle i should show you from there to make an idea it's just impressive incredible i love that I mean this is one of my favorite thing in the car 
How crazy is that? It's it's lovely, incredible. Great job, Suzuki. Also, you can close this up like that. This curtain. It comes a little bit of light inside. That's fancy. But all of the all of the sun, it's gone. You see? But it's diffused the light inside the car a little bit nicer. How cool is that? I like that. I really like that. Really cool. The glass roof, it's it's phenomenal. Love it. Up here you have a mirror with a normal light. And that's it guys. No handle, nothing up there. Let's talk a little bit about the multimedia system. Also multimedia system, it's relatively new and it's nice. You have here the map. The screen, although it's not so glossy, it's kind of a combination between glossy and matte. And my, my finger doesn't slide so easy on the screen. So yeah, that's something to keep in mind. Other than that, it works relatively fine. It's loading the map and the distance and the route very fast. Start routing guidance. You can see how fast it's working really fast. It's very clear. You have a great visibility from here. Also, you have a lot of information about traffic speed limits and stuff like that. It's super, super nice. It works very, very good. I think it's the same one that Toyota uses it as well, the new Toyota cars. Then you have also the menu there. Wait a second. I press by mistake here you have the menu you go to the menu of the navigation the route settings for example you have extra settings here on the navigation if you want to and yeah I will go a little bit later and I'll show you that but keep in mind that you have all those search address and stuff like that you have it here then if I go forward guys you can press the car here you go to all the settings of the car you can see the consumption right there how much the car consume uh, range of the car right now distance then here you have also some information about distance and fuel uh, economy then you have here this nice energy flow and kind of a nice graphic display um, that you can see it and also tire pressure right here then if we go to uh, multimedia here you can connect your phone also uh, from what I know you can connect your Android Auto and Apple CarPlay uh, phone right here and then if you go to settings you will go to all the settings of the car for example here you have the display the volume the smartphone the security and stuff like that the clock unit information then if you go to navigation here you have all the settings of the navigation where you can change different route options and yeah stuff like that then you can go to uh, next one you have the map navigation you can see the 2d 3d i think it's working also 3d yes you can see the map in 3d the units kilometer or miles and the poi the 3d lands the buildings you can choose how you like to see it if you go to multimedia settings you have all that sound settings and radio settings and equalizer and stuff like that then you have the wireless settings let me go back the wireless settings here the bluetooth settings and you have the uh, car settings the vehicle settings i'm not sure door and stuff like that parking you can see all that settings vehicle customization here you have the foot okay good the only thing that i don't see here it's how can you connect your wireless and android phone i'm really curious about that i think once you connect your phone it should work actually but it's only bluetooth that's something that i don't understand i don't see that option maybe once you put the cable inside it will appear on the screen or stuff like that i would have to check that anyway that was all guys that was the review with the car probably i will make a separate video with this multimedia system and add it next days on the channel that was all guys i hope you enjoy it i hope the video was helpful let me close the engine. I hope you get some useful information from the video. In my opinion, the car, it's really good. It's a great competitor for Dacia cars. For example, Dacia Duster or Stepway or wherever. It's in the same class, in the same area uh, right there. It's a good job. They did a great job. I like the practicality of the car, the glass roof, the space in the back, uh, the trunk, the visibility. It's awesome. I'm really curious to test it out. I will make the test drive right now after I 
close this video and guys check out the test drive will be probably next days on the channel as well if it's not already there check it out also guys i hope you enjoyed it i hope the video was helpful for you if you like it please like share subscribe i would really appreciate that also if you want to see the car if you want to test drive the car check out emil frame burn the link will be in the description my rating for this car from 1 to 10 will be around um 9.5 four this is my rating for the car 9.4 round there the price is good but i think they can improve a lot of stuff these days for example led lights a lot of lights they should change also the cockpit the seats are super cool i love the seats but a few things here and there they should change they can improve and that's why this is my rating 9.4 yeah i hope you enjoy it hope you like the video guys thank you very much for watching Stay safe and I guess I see you soon in the next one. Bye guys.